I think my windows. That that's a win. All right, we're live. What's up? Uh, yeah, so, well, good good news and bad news. Uh, let, let me start by saying happy, what is it today? Tuesday, let's always start by wishing, you know, like a happy day of the week. What up? And uh, yeah, so, I mean, if you've been on the Labs channel, you, you kind of know what's up already. 
Uh, so, so a lot of like crunching yesterday to get the experiment out. And, uh, well, turns out the game, well, I, I, I'm hesitating to blame the game just yet. I'm, and, and this is why we're going to do another test today. We're going to try something out today. Uh, cause I want to know, I want to know, like, is it, is it the game or is it the server? Is it the game or is it the server? Doggo can talk? Doggo can talk? Hmm. Hashtag blame the game. You haven't been there. Uh, but yeah, blame the game. Totally not Serpent's fault. Yo, you definitely haven't been there if you think that's that's what it is. Uh, okay. Go go and watch it right now. It's, it's actually live on the other channel. I'm going to bring you guys over here. Good morning. Uh, I might be a little cranky. I haven't had like my coffee yet. So this is a horrible idea to, to stream like that, but I I, I want to get to work early because uh, I I am done with that game. Like literally, I need to move on, and I will uh, I will uh, we will bring A Isaac back just to feel good. All right, so let's bring you guys over here. Uh, oh, well, good morning, good morning. Coffee. Oh, you're very necessary. And uh, no, I'm not gonna waste any time. I can show you right now uh, if we have another. Uh, let me just see if we have an... I can bring it up. It's gonna be loud as fuck if it's not muted. Mute, 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 mute. Yeah, muted. And then... Whoop. Hey, look at that! Can I... Can, I, can you guys see what's wrong? <laughs> it's it's almost like, like the game is frozen. <laughs> morning, yes, morning. Morning for me, at least. You are memeless. I, I am a little uh, cranky. Like I will I will purge and ban people left and right. Like it doesn't matter if you have a star next to your name. If I haven't had my coffee, as it moving. Well, the thing is, the uh, I don't know what this guy sees. Like technically, but the frame grabber is technically still running, right? It's learning. <laughs> The frame and and I've inspected the frames that 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 were coming out and it was it was uh well you know it it was exactly this so I'm thinking it's the game I'm not think I'm thinking it's not the server or anything but before I blame the game for like a hundred percent sure uh, because I would look like a fool if I say like it's the game I'm gonna try the same hardware the same server because because it's not me all right I know you're going there you're gonna be like ah oh, if it's not the game it's Serpent AI. No, it's not me. It's it's the game or the server, really. Uh, it's the game or, or the server. Because uh, it's a server. This this entire thing is running off a GPU uh, server in the cloud. Uh, so so maybe they're... Like, they, they, they haven't necessarily been built for stuff like that. I'm kind of testing my luck a little bit, especially streaming it from there. Uh, so, so other stuff than the game might be at play here. Uh, so what I intend to do is resurrect a Isaac... All right, so we're gonna try to apply PPO instead of DQN. Um, I, I can kind of like apply it like really, really quickly, but we'll, we'll we'll adjust the experiment. We'll we'll modernize the experiment with AI Isaac today uh, on the stream. That's what we're gonna do. Um, so I've been getting a lot of like like meme questions, you know, uh, a lot of meme questions about like, hey, did Isaac like kill Monstro yet, Serpent AI? Well, now now we'll find out. Right, we're back for round two. We're back for round two, all right? So the meme question is going to need to go away now because we're actually going to do it for real, all right? All right? The cloud is just dusty water. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. So this I'm going to leave running just as a as a testament of what's, what can happen with either this game. And the reason I'm thinking it, it's possibly the game and not the server is because we've seen some other, like for the very few people that were watching this yesterday, uh, while it was running, uh, actually running, there there was something interesting. Uh, this game is buggy. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Uh, so there, there's stuff like that happens, like turning left so fast that your body explodes in this game. Uh, and, and and you know, there's there's a lot of this, which clouds this in paper space. All right. Anyways, so that's the current state of things. Uh, of course, I'm not happy with that, but I am gonna. I am done. Personally, I am done spending energy on trying to work around this game's like problems, and that's what we're gonna start working on. Hey, Isaac. All right. 
So let's not waste any time. I'm going to do it on Windows because my target is, is kind of like a Windows server. So let's just do it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you had to write it twice there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Because we should get 4K points when you turn too fast. Chad, have you ever turned so fast in your life that your your head... Like, essentially, you dis disembodied yourself like, and your head exploded. <laughs> Because that's what we saw yesterday. We saw something like that. It was kind of entertaining and sad at the same time. All right, so let's uh, Serpent Project this thing. Now I have I have my plug-in, but I don't think I want to... I don't want to bring this back necessarily, like, as is. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it around as a reference. All right. Hey, shit! <laughs> I'm just waking up, too. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? All right. All right, all right, all right. So how do we do this? Well, we'll start. We'll start by the uh, by the obvious stuff. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Is this one just for? Yeah, no. This one's the framework. Uh, if we need to rebuild it for whatever reason, and that's the only one that's left. Okay. Uh, let's bring another. Where's uh, Anaconda prompt? Let's bring that back. And we're gonna generate a, a different plugin altogether uh, using the latest, uh, you know, latest, latest, latest stuff from the framework. All right, so there uh, we have to navigate to our install for Serpent AI. So it's uh, maybe users, my first name, projects, and Serpent. No, no, Serpent projects, not Serpent. Uh, if you get out a solution that works for uh, my question, I don't think anyone like like managed to help you because it's like such a framework specific like question uh, for for what what appears to be Java. So I, I I'm not surprised people don't necessarily know, but I'm glad you figured it out. Unless you mean that the question you asked me like a long time ago, which I remember. Mm -hmm. It's not the game, nor the framework, it's you as a person. Now, you make jokes with that, but it kind of you have to fight against the urge to believe that. When, when I see it, like, doing whatever, even if it's the game that's bugged, right? Or even if it's the framework that does something stupid. Like, it's hard to not take it personally at this point, right? Yeah. Serpent is the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, ooh, you saw how, like, like how quick I was to exit that folder, right? Like that's, yeah, it's probably, yeah. Hmm. It's another framework that I have. <laughs> okay, so projects. Nice. If I do serpent here, I should see. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so we're going to generate a new game. We're going to do serpent generate a game. Uh, what, what's the name? Well, we're going to name it A Isaac. How about that? That way it doesn't clash. It's, it's shorter. <laughs> That's probably gonna be better. Uh, how's it launch? It's gonna be Steam in, in either or in your case. All right, so hey, Isaac, we're gonna do it from scratch, but of course we're gonna draw inspiration from a couple of other plugins just to bring it back to speed in terms of, you know, like, like making something modern there. Uh, all right, so plugins there. And then we'll uh, get, we'll get the game agent out of the way right now, because why not? Because we're gonna need it anyways. All right, so game agent, uh, what's the name? Well, let's just do the same thing, right? Hey, Isaac. Ooh, uh, I skied that for you, like a nice utility on the web that I don't remember. I just Googled like image to a ski and then took one of the top, you know, five links and <laughs> took the output from that and, and, and there, there we go. The internet's a pretty nice place when, you know, you can actually use it. Okay, so two plugins. Uh, they should be showing shortly. There we go. So a game plugin. <laughs> Explosion. Yeah, you kept it. Nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, by the way, like like I just saw that. There, I don't know if you guys saw. I don't know if you guys saw. I got an email from Twitch. I don't know if you guys got the email from Twitch or not. There's there's a new feature that's active right now. It's it's new. It's brand new. 100% new. Uh like apparently, apparently, top clippers now get a, a badge in chat, 
right? So if you make a clip and share it and it, it, it kind of like becomes popular eventually, like it just gets a couple of views, like more than, than the average, I guess, like you, you'll eventually get the, uh, the top clipper badge. So that's a, that's a new thing they introduced. I think it's a fun one because it's, it's a non-paid like, like way to, uh, to participate. I don't know how it works. I don't know what the threshold is. I don't know like any of that, but apparently it's a new thing. All right. So when, so when people clip something and I'm pretty sure it's, it's meant to not just, I mean, hopefully it's meant to be resilient against people just clipping random shit over and over again. Uh, whatever. We'll see. We'll see. Right. But, uh, I don't know how it works. It just says like, like we will now give badges to top clippers, whatever a top clipper is. I don't know if they want to, you know, like actually explain that or anything. All right. If I can get a fourth, like, I don't think so. I think you would have to replace something else. Uh, if, if there is a way to get the fourth icon now, then, then it's definitely worth going for. <laughs> it's definitely worth going for a fourth icon. How crazy would that be? Your, your, your Twitch e penis would be something to behold. Okay. So game, uh, I don't think we have much to do here for now. Uh, save for setting up the game. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna steal a lot from this one. Uh, the only reason I don't want to work in it is is because I I want to work at a different resolution this time, and I want to work at w with some different, you know, like like components of the framework perhaps that weren't there when we did the uh, Isaac experiment the first time around. So I I think we'd I'd rather like separate it, uh, but at the same time I'm gonna be spending a lot of time here, you know, stealing shit left and right. <laughs> I, I think it's per channel, so I think they'll establish like some sort of like because there's already something if I look at my stream stats like in Twitch, not not some third party uh, that tells me like who had the top clip of the day or something like that. So maybe once you get the top clip of the day a couple of times, it, it gives you the, the top clipper badge or something like that, something like that, right? So I don't know how it works. We'll we'll get more information. I'm sure some people will figure out the mechanics. I mean, it's the internet. People will min max the shit out of everything, right? So they'll they'll figure out how that works, and uh, you'll you'll know. Give me the top clipper. Well, you made that clip on the other channel, not on this one. So <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, so let's uh, let's at least like like make it launch the game for now. Uh, we're I'm gonna try to like like because we saw that working at 1280, 960 was kind of like pushing. Uh, well, making the, the capture time a little longer, right? So maybe if I work at a slightly smaller resolution, it would still be perfectly viewable, right? From a stream perspective. And, uh, and uh, it will definitely improve the capture time uh, so we can have more FPS in our frame grabber and perform the, the pipeline faster even. Uh, so I think I'm gonna work at 1024 by 768. I think it's gonna be perfectly enough. Oh, by the way, if you just like think you can you can game this shit and, and post whatever clips that it make no sense, uh, I'm I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that. So that's the only downside I can see of Twitch like, introducing a system like that is people like starting to just like spam clips that make no sense, that are not entertaining, that are not funny, that are not like what the fuck. All right. Okay, so let's steal it from uh, from this guy, the game plugin here. So in files, all right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right, so let's steal uh, this especially uh, that we need to get right. So we're working with Afterbird Plus, like the absolute top. Like, like, you know, like all DLC, like, like type of setup, because this one has, if you guys remember correctly from way back, cause that was, uh, we ran this in June of 2017. So you might've not even been around when we ran this thing. Uh, but it has a mod console. Like it has a console, especially essentially where, where you can kind of like, like, like throw some commands in there. Uh, so we're going to use that. We're going to use that. Streaming for your EU buddies again. I, I just I just stream like I, I I know it's horrible apparently like everyone on Twitch will tell you like you don't stream like like regular hours, it's gonna hurt your view count. 
I just stream when I'm ready to stream. So today I had like I have this project of bringing back a Isaac. I I am up. I am ready. I'm not gonna wait until like some some certain hour that's optimal. I'm just gonna press the start streaming button and I'm gonna do it. You know. Okay. All right. So let's uh, like I said, steal like 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 really like shameless steal here. Boop. And oh, I'm definitely gonna poop this. Uh, game poop game poop hey all right cool so let's uh let's make sure we can launch it first of all uh we're gonna just a few things like the res after so let's do serpent launch the isaac i'll have to find the ai Isaac meme folder shit you have to yeah you have to go back to the archives for that shit damn son archives archives uh okay so it went to big to small again uh one thing i i know is i'm not sure you can uh from the options i'm not sure you can really control the resolution it's it's something like full screen and uh but i can probably set the window size that being said right yeah, no, I can probably set the window size. Hey, yeah, well, wow. That was, okay. <laughs> I guess feels good, man. <laughs> All right. Boop. Okay, so no no uh, resolution, like I said, like actual resolution option here. But like I said, it's probably not that bad because we can uh, force it through uh, our, launch, uh, our launcher, right? How is me playing? I don't know, man. What's up, dope? <laughs> How is me playing Isaac a meme? Like, I think you, you need to... I think Puka needs to say... I think Puka needs to say that this is not a, a worthy meme. It's like a 5 out of 10 meme or something. Okay, so if I want to play this at 7... Because uh, because this will stretch, like, like regardless of what I do. Perhaps in a weird way, but... <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to like if you you're supposed to see the rest of the menu when you do that. Hmm. I don't know if it's just because I <laughs> Oh, okay, so it's gonna pad it if we want to play at a higher resolution. So there there may be no point in playing at a higher res. Okay, so it needs to respect the aspect ratio in this case. Okay, can I change the? Uh, okay, let's try. To, can I change the the aspect ratio? I don't think so. I do not believe this is something I can change. No, so it's it's literally full screen or not, and then it's gonna work in in this aspect ratio, whatever that is. It's probably like a nine. Uh, huh. Yeah, now if I work with something a little more square, which I'm a fan of because it means that we can probably like f use the screen more efficiently. Yeah, no, we're going to do Monstro just because we have this this old chip on our shoulder. Of course, we're going to go for Monstro first. And I don't think this works. Oh, yeah, it still works. Look at that. Beautiful console, still there. I just needed to change my uh, keyboard layout. Uh, that's gonna suck. Yeah, no, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I I prefer working with a like a four three aspect ratio because it's it, it's using this. It's filling. I I should not say it's using it uh, efficiently, but it's filling the screen more efficiently on our experiment channel. Uh, it, the problem is if I work with a, like a like an aspect ratio like you know like this, which is probably way better for the game, then I have less room for my terminal, right? Because see now it's even behind like my well these overlays don't count, but you have to consider whatever the other, and it, it also causes like a lot of empty space there. Hmm. 
It might be easier to isolate decks if it's fully on. I don't think we'll be looking at much decks in this game, but, but you're definitely right that if it's not clashing against. This game's going to be way easier visually. Uh, famous last words, I know. <laughs> but I expect it to be somewhat more, uh, well, easier uh, visually than whatever we were working with. Because uh, this 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 is like way simpler. Okay. Uh, so let's decide on a resolution and verify a few things. Uh, just as a, the normal setup you would do yourself if you were working with this. So you're switching to focus to this game because the buggy. Yeah, no, I'm done with Superflight. It's just I. Well, first of all, I don't want to. Like I said earlier, uh, Big J, I, I don't want to shit on the game uh, before I know for sure it's the game, right? So for all I know, it could be a server issue, right? It could be that this specific, you know, like virtual display, whatever bullshit, like causes games to hang, and it's not just Superflight. Uh, so I'm not giving up on Superfly because it's I, I don't think it's a valid candidate. But if the game is indeed buggy and, and the, the display or the render of the game hangs like that once in a while, uh, I don't think it's it's suitable for an experiment then. Right? Yeah. Paper space is overpriced to fuck. You have no idea what you're talking about, man. Like I'm sorry, Vilsaw. You need you say you say a lot of things and, and you don't you don't seem to think a lot before you say you say things. It is extremely not overpriced. It is probably like underpriced, if anything. Uh, very, very, very cheap for GPU instances compared to any other provider uh, out there. Uh, very like like I, I need to know what you're comparing it to. And if you have a cheaper one, do share it. But man, like like before you say things, you have to you have to think it true. Yeah. Yeah. No. Just say where. Just say where. Don't say don't say it's overpriced like that. It is not overpriced. Yeah, exactly, Link. Exactly. Exactly. Because paper space is cheap. OVH. OVH doesn't have anything except uh, for... Okay, 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 okay. Let's, let, do we, are we doing this for real? Are we doing this for real? OVH, the only OVH server that they provide is a 4x1080 uh, GTX 1080 right now. Hetzner is out of stock of anything GPU. Uh, anything else? Yeah, no, I, I, I think I think I want to stop right there because I don't think you're doing research. I think you're just saying things real, real quick. All right. <laughs> no, but it's almost it's almost like like you, you you think like people don't do research and you're like, ha, this is so stupid, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you have a four... Okay, from OVH, so they changed their deals. <laughs> they changed their deals, but it's still like four times this. Like, like, And you're saying it's overpriced. Like, how much does it cost per month to have a four... It's like a thousand or two thousand bucks per month to run like a four times like like GTX. This is costing me two hundred dollars, okay, a month uh, with it for a dedicated GPU. So it's not overpriced. Don't don't try to change the target of of the argument. You're saying you're saying it's overpriced, and now you're saying, oh serpent, you're saying it's the wrong thing. It's actually like four x. No, no, you're saying it's overpriced. It's not overpriced, right? Hmm. No, you're trying you're trying to change, man. I'm sorry, you're trying to change like where where you're going with this. I'm I'm having fun right now. Like you 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 go from saying it's overpriced to saying I'm wrong about the offerings that they have. Like come on, I can see through this sort of this sort of game. When you when you start losing, you start changing the, the the focus, the target. Come on, it's not overpriced. It's it's a different offering. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I'm glad you have an opinion. All right. So resolution, how are we doing it uh, before? I don't think we were doing anything special. What's up, Pengo? What happened to Superflight? Superflight, well, you can look at it right now if you want to on the other channel. The game the game tends to hang like that. Yeah, no, the game tends to hang like that a little bit. Bad candidate? Well, it's not a bad candidate. I think the game's great. Like, like the actual concept of the game is a great candidate. Uh, the fact that it hangs makes it not really like 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 
usable for like a long-term experiment like that, like real-time experiment it doesn't really work, right? Uh, okay. I don't think, like I said, like, like previously, I don't think we did anything in terms of resizing. We were just accepting whatever resolution it was. But if you look at the old, uh, if you look at the old clips from Isaac, you'll, you'll know that it's a little, uh, on the small side, right? So you can just go to the clips. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you sort the channel by top clips, like ever, you'll see a lot of a Isaac stuff and the window, uh, is actually turns out to be pretty small. Uh, I was just accepting whatever it was launching as. Uh, so if I can boost it up a bit just for, for, well, maybe I could ask chat too. Like, uh, like, let's go and view a clip, uh, for a second and, and try to see if it's, uh, try to see if it's too big or not. All right. Clips, Serpent AI clips. And then if you sort by, you know, like top all. See, this is a Isaac right there. It doesn't matter like the actual run, but look at the aspect ratio. All right? Do you see this? So this is the default res. Now, if you're watching this, and that would be my question, if you're watching this like as a viewer, uh, do you think it's too? Uh, do you think it's too small, or do you think it's enough to see what's going on? Because of course, the smaller the game window, the faster our capture. The faster our capture, you know, the, the more like the the better. Uh, offering we have when we grab frames from the, the 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 buffer the back buffer right so i i tend to like if it were just up to me i would work like in a small window uh because because it causes like it it, it has a lot of like like upsides right fine everyone's like it's okay it's fine it's fine okay okay it's enough to see what's going on because see what with that's the thing with with the super flight i was going for like trying to fill up like as much space as i could uh, cause I imagine it was a better, it was a better, like, like, you know, experience. But if you guys say it's fine, uh, well, maybe I could just accept the default resolution and work with that and we'll figure out with like, maybe I could just put some info cards, like in the empty space that it creates or something like that. Yeah, exactly. More space for, for stats and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So one thing I was thinking about, like, I, I, I'm going from like, like one idea to the next right now, but. I was thinking that we could possibly eventually replace the terminal with some sort of like web, like little dashboard, right? So we can have like charts and, and more rich displays. Uh, so how would we do that? Well, the framework already has a streaming API, right? Uh, so I could, I could literally stream data out of the experiment as it runs. Uh, and all I would have to do is, is hook up on the other side and make, uh, make some sort of like, like little web app. Right. So yeah, exactly. Do some graphs. Yeah. No. So it would be kind of cool. Like instead of having the terminal, which is limited, it's still it's still good to have the information around. It would be kind of nice eventually if we could swap it with some sort of like dashboard. Yeah. What the AI sees? Well, it's really hard to it's really hard to make it to to, to make it show what it sees in real time because it's uh it's gonna be expensive like in terms of hardware already to do that. So to show what it sees means I have to. Well, we'll see how much room we have. Okay, okay. So if I have some spare, like 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 milliseconds in in the cycle, uh, for every action of the agent, then maybe I can try to output it to like the visual debugger, for for example, like this, right? Uh, but it's hard to say what the AI sees because like it's going through multiple convolutional layers, right? Multiple convolutional layers. So so which at what part are you interested in? in? <laughs> Right? It's really hard to say, like, because eventually this thing ends up being like a flat representation when it goes through all the convolutions and then it, it, it en enters like the dense layer. It just becomes like a vector uh, of information. Uh, so at what stage would you like to, you know, like, like, would you like to see it? And that, that would be the question, right? It might be, okay, so you're, you're thinking like getting, I know what you're saying. If I tweak the res a bit, make it a little more square, the, the UI stuff is not going to mess with, yeah, it's not going to mess with, the, I, I, I see what you're saying. It's kind of like what it is right now. So, of course, this is my, my Isaac that I used to play myself. Uh, if we were to run the experiment, a few things that, that would be off for sure. Uh, so the extra uh, HUD, found the HUD, that would all be, and even the charge bars would be off. And maybe the idea is that if we stretch this enough... Anyone trying to make some channel? I, I don't think so. I think I just do it because I can, like literally. 
So you're thinking of something like this, right? So if it's if it's tall enough, then it's not out of the way. Can I, no, I'm not running a, a big one. I think I think that we misunderstood each other, Vilsal, because I'm I'm not running like a massive crazy instance. I don't have the money for that. Uh, I'm running the one that's uh, the GPU plus that has an M4000 in it, right? So M4000 is is not horrible. It's still compute capacity like 5.2. Uh, it's a Quadro, right? So it's not a GTX. Um, and I'm getting this one for 200. And I think this one's a good deal, right? Compared to anything else like that for that sort of range of, of performance, that's a very good deal. Maybe their upper their upper end is like like more expensive for sure. I don't know. I, I was I was really like thinking of my own like what I'm using right now, and I think it's a good deal. And I was kind of like defending that deal because I think it's you you can't get that sort of hardware dedicated like anywhere for that price. Uh, but if but if you crank it up, maybe they make more their money, their profit when people upgrade or something like that. Who knows? Okay, but if I give it more, uh, okay, so Shotch, if I get it more uh, horizontal, it's gonna figure out and that it has more room and it's gonna scale up like the display like this. So. See, so I can't I can't just trick it like that. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I don't think we're gonna worry about it. Uh, I think we're not gonna worry about it, at, and and that's it, right? So if I launch it, I'll just accept whatever resolution comes out, and I think the resolution it works at is nine sixty five forty, which is not horrible. Uh, it's gonna look weird on on this stream. Oh fuck! Did it remember my previous size? No, <laughs> no, no, you're not supposed to remember my, no, ah, oh, shit, now, now we're in trouble. Can I rescale it man manually? I should have not messed with that. <laughs> I should have not messed with that. Stay there, stay there. Piece of shit. <laughs> it doesn't want to stay. Uh, okay, so maybe I can force it through our window controller. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I could try to force it through the window controller, and then uh, and then it would reach this thing again. Maybe I can try to do that for a sec um, when I launch it. So let's try that. Let's try to mess with that real quick. Okay, so not framework. Okay, so one thing you you can do if you want to learn a little a little trick uh, in the framework, one thing you can do uh, that that's really really useful when you have some some you know like like very uh, unique like launching situations with games. Perhaps you have a launcher window or stuff like that. Uh, the thing I like to recommend, and then there's something in the framework like directly for that, is to overwrite or extend at least uh, after launch. Right. So there's this in the game. Uh, this is what it does by default for for like any game, uh, but you're allowed to overwrite that or extend it if you want to. All right, so what I'm gonna do to, to set the size is add a line here in the in the window controller to set the size to uh, whatever we wanna work with, which is like 960 by 540, I think. So we're gonna bring that in our experiment, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it's there, it's there. I realize that it's not like, like top, top end, but it's, it's what I can afford, man. It's what I can afford. Keep in mind, I'm not I'm not using like work money. To, I'm using my own money to pay for this thing, <laughs> so I can't afford like top end stuff. It's not just like being at work and saying, "Hey, can we can we just like get four GPU instances?" Yeah, kid. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Uh, it's literally coming out of my pocket. So two hundred like like USD a month, uh, just just for a, an extra stream, uh, is is pretty expensive. So. I do what I can. I do what I can. All right, we're gonna drop this. Uh, let's see here. Why is there? Okay, I added some twos. Nice, good job. Let's drop this here. All right, so after launch, you just drop it in your game plugin like this, and then uh, you can tweak whatever's in there uh, if you need to or if you want to. Uh, no time module. We can accommodate that. Uh, can you extend it with decorators? Mm. I mean, you could you could eventually figure out a system to do it like that, but I, I was thinking more of a super call, right? A call to super. Uh, okay, so if this is here, locate window. Once we locate the window, like how about before we move it to zero zero, uh, we resize it. And uh, resize window in the window controller is there for every OS. I think Shotch was. I remember Shotch was saying like way way back. 
way way back i don't know why i remember these things but that the behavior is is not consistent right I don't see those deals on it. Like, link me up for real. Because the, the only GPU I, I instance I found on the Hetzner uh, was was sold out. So I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about the latency because uh, Hetzner is, is in Germany. Uh, I'm not late. I'm not worried about the latency uh, at all. But that the last time I checked, it was just not there, man. Oh, and it needs to be a Windows licensed uh, Windows 10. That's a that's another thing. Windows 10, not not Linux. Cuz I want to I want every game to possibly run on this thing, right? So that's why I would go for Windows, not because it's my preferred, you know, like development environment, but just yeah. Twitch would not let me watch. All right, that's that's not good. All right, so just width and height. So width was what nine sixty, I think we said, and five forty. Now, I think I think Shosh doesn't remember even when, when with the what, but you know, I, I I remember you creating an issue like way way back that said resizing on different OSs doesn't seem to be consistent because some of them include like borders and and dial bars and others don't in their measurement when you use this super old uh, thing. But does uh, Hetzner provide like a way to, you know, pay an extra to get like a license to? Because I I would pay for the extra licensing for Windows 10, but I just want it to be or Windows Server whatever it doesn't matter. Uh, and if you say that's the deal, I, I would take it because that is a little cheaper for better. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so you can pay an extra. You can pay an extra for uh, for uh, licensing that per month. Is that per month, the Zaro? Because that's that's actually not too bad. Yeah, no, but if it costs more, it's it's fine. Uh, but with that licensing, uh, however, it probably comes up to similar prices. But for a 1080 instead of an M. Uh... But then again, like like think about that, like the. What sort of benchmarking were you looking at? I'm kind of curious. This is a good discussion to have because if you're looking at gaming benchmarks, uh, the, the Quadro will never do good at that, right? But you were, were you, I think you said CAD and stuff like that. Now you did say Blender CAD, iRate. Perfect, perfect. Yes. Plus 120 euro charge for the initials because they want you to keep it for a while. That's the thing. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up some more and I'll set up the alerts because because if I get a better deal, I'm always in the market for a better deal. Absolutely. Like I said, it's coming out of my pocket and it's pretty expensive. So if I if I can find a better deal somewhere else. Uh, I, I will consider it. Okay, so let's try that again. With the uh, so it's essentially the same after launch, but we're adding a resize just to. If I'm being stupid, you know, and <laughs> resize the game window. And we can recover from that. Because it does launch at 960. Ha! See, now I, I, I stretched it back to what it was. No, but it does the offset thing. That's what I... Ah, oh, shit. So see the the resize doesn't seem to uh, doesn't doesn't seem to consider the borders. It seems to be the entire thing. Hmm. And not even. And and some more and some more. Nice. That fixed it. Well, you can thank Vil Vilsol for that. <laughs> that doesn't seem like like it's right. Doesn't seem like it's right. Even though we did the the nine uh, nine sixty, is there a config for Isaac? That would probably be easier than mess with this thing. Of course, I could figure out the offsets eventually, like that cause it to be correct. But if there is a config for Isaac for the resolution, I almost want to Google this. You know, Hmm. 
There is an options.ini. Apparently, in uh, my game's Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Okay, so let's try that. So what, what is that? Documents, my games, Binding of... Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Is it Afterbirth? Yeah, probably Afterbirth. Afterbirth plus options. And then there should be a window. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so it remembers what I did the last time around. That's it. So let's uh, switch it back. What was it? Like 960 by 540? I mean, I could give it the other one I wanted to do, but we already know what that does. It just like creates some, some, some space around the, the game area. We could try that one for a sec. Okay, so let's try that again. It still does the same thing. So I'm guessing the game itself, when I when I size it to what I'm asking, it does. Oh no, I, I'm an idiot. No, I, did I take it out? Because if I didn't take it out, I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I'm like, hey, here we go. We fixed the config. No, no. Well, if I still hard, like, like resize it real hard, it's not going to apply now, is it? I'm waking up, chat. Okay, I never stream at this time. Okay, so it's going to take a little, it's going to take a little moment. It's going to take a little while. It was at nine. Fuck is going on? Unless it's not that file. Could could be not that file, right? Maybe it's some other config that it's going uh, for. Let me also make sure that I, uh, for Isaac, that I have all the. Uh, okay, no, I did not disable anything. Okay. <laughs> So why is it not okay? So it's probably just another config file. Uh, look at all these config files. Like which one is it? Which one? <laughs> See, this one is 960. It's, okay, so it's definitely not that one. Uh, I think it's the one I was in. I don't understand why it would. Oh no. See, they're all right. And did I change it in? Hey Isaac, I did. So where where is that config now? Why is it all? Uh, why is it not launching the, the the window size like properly? Did I ruin it forever? I might have just done that. Oh no! Because now it doesn't care. Now it wants to be at that nine forty four by five hundred one every time I launch it. See, that's good. That's good. And then it goes to that shit size there when it goes to zero zero. How? Why? It was it was fine when it launched and then it went back to that shit size. Why mods? No, okay. I don't need mods. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that garbage. All right. Let's try to square square er like a four three. Seven sixty eight. So we're gonna do a bunch of that. Like like why am I spending so much time on the resolution? Because uh, I will have to uh, well resize a few sprites, recapture a few sprites, adjust some of the logic, uh, perhaps make new screen regions. 
Uh, but I want to work at a better resolution or a different resolution. Now, if I use the same resolution as before, then I would probably be able to reuse all the logic that was there. So there's that. Uh, that would be a benefit uh, for sure. Now, I think I, maybe when I close Isaac, it writes the current size. Yeah, that's what it did. Okay, that's why. So on exit of the game, it, it writes a different... Uh, so that's that's what caused the issue. Because I had it open when I made the change. I think we got it this time. Famous last words, but make the file read only. Hey, there we go. Hey. Hey, all right, cool. It has a weird offset, but I'll take it. That's it. I don't know why it has like an offset. Of oh, yeah, we established that before. No pad.exe. Hey, for options.ini, I think it's fine, man. Uh, but yeah, no, I think we uh, established that before that it's it's the arrow like like theming like the shadows and everything that caused the the weird offset like this on Windows because there's literally like I'm sure even on the stream you might see it. Uh, there's a bit of spacing on the left. It's not totally anchored. So I essentially say I said position the window at zero zero, but it's like you know what? Like I'll I'll put it there, right? You can change the window offset. Yeah, you can change it if you want to. Uh, but I, I would rather not fuck with anything that right now. Uh, we got we got the res we wanted. I don't know if it stretches. No, it doesn't. All right, so same thing. We're gonna see the same thing again. If I go in the game, we're gonna have just like a, essentially like black bars. Yeah, like this. So it doesn't it doesn't stretch, which is not good, right? Which is not good. 1080 for uh, for 194. Nice. That's good. with the license huh well that's exactly the price i pay right you're, you're saying like that's exactly the, the price i pay right now but it's a 1080 instead so not not necessarily like uh it could be an upgrade and now a lot of things like factor in do they allow like unlimited bandwidth because i'm streaming out of the out of this thing like 24 7 so they have to be okay with that paper space is okay with that uh, they even have like articles saying like streaming from your paper space instance or, or machine. Now, now, if these guys like will shut me down because I stream from the box, that's bad, right? So, I, I, yes, like okay. So screen wise, it's probably like interesting that it that it, it it occupies more space. But I'm kind of like essentially wasting like like you know details. The one thing I think is good here is the fact that the the GUI like is kind of like out of the out of the way. That's one thing I think is nice. But other than that, like we're wasting a lot. Like we're going to capture this entire window. Hmm. I don't know, man. Cuz I can make a screen region inside and only like make that what I pass to the net, right? Uh and and not look at like all the gooey like that so that that might be a, a thing worth considering it just doesn't look as good like when you look at the game right it kind of looks stupid hmm what do you think do we go back to like a nine uh what is it like a 69 otherwise so what do we have in 16.9 that's greater than uh, like 720? But that's still very big. Uh, 720 is probably too big. Yeah, go to 69. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it probably looks it, it well the one upside like i said is that it, it it takes the gui out of like the way but of the the board but at the same time like the net would learn to not like focus on on whatever is part of the hud right eventually try everything well you guys know one of the top of your head like that's it's kind of like a decent one i could try 720 but i think it's going to be too slow to capture at 720 that's my initial you know like hunch there so what is it what is that 1280 by 720 is that what it is oh it's not that much bigger than what we were using a little bit but
Ah, right, that's probably good. And that should use the space efficiently. Uh, that's 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 how we remember it at least. <laughs> yeah, no, that's much better. I think that would be fine. I think we can we can commit to this resolution. Like I said, like I'm spending a lot of time on this because once we commit to a resolution, that's it. Like we're gonna be working with this. We can't just like hot swap the resolution later uh, to something else, right? Can you upscale the window on stream? That's another good point. I, I could do some OBS foo, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I'm sure it's possible, but I would have to mess with OBS a little bit, right? So just like for that specific window, just stretch it. Capture a specific area of the screen and then stretch it in OBS. That could probably be done, and that's probably the best the best way to go. Because like I said, like working at smaller capture resolutions, it's going to give us like better performance. At this res, I'm going to be slightly faster... I would only be slightly faster than uh and keep in mind that, that that I'm this is not this is not 1080 right now this is 1440 so it would definitely occupy more space it would probably go around here uh and then that's that's like where my cards are on uh snake down oh snake is probably sleeping right now let me let me go and look at snake to see what's going on while I, while I look at Snake, you look at Doggo, okay, chat? Look at that Doggo. I'm going to fix Snake. Just give me a sec. What's up, Mink? Hmm. Oh, yes. Indeed, I see what's wrong with Snake. going to administer some medicine. Lewd! <laughs> All right, Snack should be uh, feeling better now. Should, keyword. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring you guys back. Yeah, there we go. Snake is alive. Snake is alive. <laughs> kind of like the the exposure on the cam. It's like, <laughs> oh, she's giving a show now. All right, let's bring you guys back. One thing I can do, okay, I, can, I, I know I'm, I'm kind of stretching this, but I want to make it, I want to make it uh, good. I want to make it good. Uh, I, I could benchmark real quick, like, the capture speed of this here. Right, we could we could figure out how long it takes to, to grab this in terms of milliseconds, like, on average. Uh, if I still have a uh, Jupyter Notebook around. But I do like the idea of upscaling, though, I have to say. Too much work to play Snake for hours. That's fine. I don't think it's expected to play Snake, especially when when people like get crazy records like fifty four or something. It, it, you see fifty four, like ah, you know what's the point <laughs> at this point? Like, I, I don't, I'm not gonna play that. You know, I, I don't have like six hours to give this thing. I do like upscaling on on OBS, so just like on purpose, like stretching. Yeah, you think it would be worth? Well, I, I kind of already know. Uh, and and I'm capturing this stream with NVENC, and I've made some tests, and and it's actually faster when it's not streaming with NVENC. Uh, so when I'm not streaming, I ran the same benchmark for the capture, and it was faster, right? So it, there's definitely some some juice uh, that's being uh, it's kind of like not available when I'm streaming. Yeah, it'll be around 20 milliseconds. Okay, well if Puka's calling it, well, we have no choice now, do we? Let's. Uh, well, I could run it from, just for the test, just for the test. Let's run it from here. Ah, ah, ah. Let's do uh, the Jupyter Notebook. All right. Oh, hey, remember that game. <laughs> uh, where's my, I, I know I have some code here. That was that was kind of benchmarking the the capture the grabber speed. There it is. That's that stuff here. All right. So MSS make a grabber. What's going on in here? We're uh, setting up 
an experiment, uh, an AI experiment to try to beat Monstro in uh, the Binding of Isaac with the Serpent AI framework. That's what's going on here. Um, okay, so this is what I'm interested in, except the size that I'm looking to capture is uh, 768. Now, keep in mind that, that the result will, will be a little better. Uh, and this is what I got with the other res while not streaming. And while I was streaming, it was more around like, like 27 or 28. All right, something like that. No, it's not there. It's not. I haven't run it. See, it's now it's it's taking it's taking longer now. <laughs> but that's because I'm streaming. Like without the stream, it would it would it would be a little faster. But still, like you can understand. Like if I I were to go back to 960 and 540, there's a net advantage at working at a smaller res, like in terms of capture speeds. So. Maybe I just want to work at that default like 960, 540 and uh, and upscale in OBS. That because that's gonna be we, we can feel that difference, like like for sure. Uh, it's, it's almost like capturing double the frames uh, by the frame grabber. So All right, so all of this, <laughs> all of this discussion, probably just to go back to what we had, the d the default of 960, 540, whatever, it's okay. It ain't science if we're not like discussing things and and changing our minds every every second. So let's do 960, 540, and I'll upscale if need be. Uh, in OBS, I'll try to do some OBS magic uh, on the other stream, on the lab stream, to make it bigger, uh, so it's more visual. Uh, but we're going to work, or at least our working resolution is going to be 960, uh, 540 for the game. All right. So it looks super small, but this is a 1440 monitor that's being downscaled to 1080. So that's why you think it's super small. It's going to be bigger than this on the on the, the actual experiment. Okay, cool. So once we have a resolution, uh, let's, uh, well, let's start looking at how we did the game loop uh, previously. Because uh, AI is like, if you don't know, that, that's kind of like a thing that's been around in June of last year. Uh, the framework has evolved quite a bit since then, but, but uh, we should have some, some good, uh, some good samples or some good logic already for the game loop, at least in there. So if I go with a game agent, uh, take a look at our game agent here. What were we using? No ML models, any helpers, frame processing helper. Aha, okay, so we had stuff for, for hearts with some offsets. Oh no, colors, colors, not offsets, actual colors. And then I was able to, I guess, calculate the, or make an array of hearts based on okay that's interesting maybe we could start some spend some time in the notebook to make sure that this still works as uh as intended right what's up mike early yes early i'm i'm, I'm switching games for the the ai stuff because the other game hangs and it, it's pretty bad mm. using old code all right, I'm done talking about that, Vilsal. Thank you. All right, frame processing. Okay, let's let's go let's go and make that run in the notebook too. All right, how about that? <laughs> let's do it again. Let's do it again. He's doing it again. <laughs> He's doing it again, but this time we're gonna bring in uh, we're gonna bring in that that module. I want to test it on some frames. Okay, so let's capture frames first. I know my mind's all over the place. I need to adjust to this, and it's early in the morning. Okay, <laughs> it's not easy. Let's capture some frames uh, and and test it on on some actual static frames, or we can make a little game. See my main my mind's all over the place. We could make a little um, uh, a little handler, a uh, very very quick one to use this. So let's bring in that, that uh, I promise I'll get it, okay? I promise I'll get there. So frame processing, we're gonna copy app per se, like as is in our helpers, in our helpers, all right? 5 a.m., now he's fucking bullshitting. 
Uh, it's it's eleven forty three. It's just that I usually stream like way later. Maybe yeah. Nice nice try. Nice guess. Totally sw swing and a miss. <laughs> All right, so frame processing. Let's make a, a small like like thing that just looks at the HUD. And so the only thing you'll do is import this from your helpers. And I guess star. And once I get a game frame, well, we're gonna use what? How does that work again? Okay, so you pass a frame. Uh, now, what's a frame here? Is it a game frame? No, it's no, it's not. It has to be the frame frame, the actual like NumPy array, not a game frame object. Uh, I mean, ideally, I would switch it because it just makes it easier. In so that's probably one of the first changes. It's a very minor one, but first change I, I would do here is that. And perhaps just like say, because uh, it, it's it's way easier if I can just pass the entire thing, uh, in terms of understanding how you you know like you work with these things. So let's get rid of the the bad one. Uh, we can get rid of the super flight stuff for now. Where's the game agent for AI? Like, there it is. Okay, so this and then I would just print the output of. Well, I don't remember what that is. Come on, wake up, god damn it. Frame to hearts is what I'm interested in. Frame to hearts uh, with a game frame and a, a game instance. And I just want to print that like periodically while I'm uh, I'm running this thing. So I'm running the game, I'm in the game. Uh, I'm in the curse of whatever the lost or the unknown or whatever. So I don't see my hearts, fuck that. Let's stop the notebook because we're going to do it in game instead. And now we're going to do serpent play a Isaac with serpent a Isaac play uh, game agent. Yeah, like this. All right. So now what I should see is if everything still works as a like as intended i should still I, I should see my hearts uh i should see something that represents like my heart count maybe it's gonna give me like six or something like that did i really add like a, a q in there yes i did nice good job dude loose keyboard loose fingers it's gonna actually set up a, it's gonna be set up like real quick a real 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 quick because uh, I already have like P the PPO, uh, you know, like like stuff that I worked on yesterday. That's going to be able to be used like straight up. All right, it's going to work like right away. Uh, HUD heart one. Okay, so I didn't define the regions. Okay, shit. Uh, I need to steal the regions from from this guy, right? No, not this guy. Uh, this one. Okay, so this stuff. So I guess the entire regions we can steal. Because they're they're still relevant. Uh, it, it, they're still relevant if we're working at the same res, right? That's the thing. Uh, so this this when you ship a, a game plugin, it's essentially like like bound to the res. If you think that's stupid, well, you're you're, you're entitled to your opinion. But like, keep in mind that most of these tools, they actually uh, work like that, right? Most of the machine learning tools like this, they they kind of like like always enforce the same resolution out of, the, out of their environments. Uh, I'm allowing you to change it, but, but you have to be consistent after that. Mm. So in the game, just, just too much jumping around, like, like from, yeah, so that's what I want to get rid of. This is going to work. Oh, it goes to the pause menu when I, okay. All right, are we gonna get some hearts? <laughs> I need some hearts. It's not gonna do anything other than than give me some hearts. Perhaps like like two FPS because that's the default, right? There you go. So it gives me an array of what it sees, and in terms of half hearts, 
right? In terms of half hearts. So can I get some hearts? Yes, thank you for the hearts. I do appreciate that. Uh, it, so yeah, it gives me an array of, of my health, right? That's it, in terms of half hearts. So if I, if I use the, the door here, uh, you'll see that it's five red now, right? Because I, I, I kind of lost some HP there. Same thing here. Now we're back to three. Oh, there's a rock there, I just don't see it. I'm kind of hoping for like some special, ah. But it looks good. Like it would have, it would have not worked like right away. Uh, so I, I think it still lines up perfectly because we're using the same resolution. So we're good. We're good there. Yeah. I'm looking for like a soul heart or something, and I can't see the contrast enough to know if I can not like use the use the bomb or something. <laughs> well, that's good. At least we detect. No, okay, so that's good. That part works already. So detecting the HP uh, seems pretty solid. Uh, I'm kind of happy with that already. So we can stop that. I, I kind of stole the screen regions. That's good. Then I stole the frame processing that's able to tell us our HP from uh, the game region, right? This is doing a little funky logic to determine, like, first of all, what type of heart and then in what positions. Um. <laughs> All right. It is earlier for Mike. That's that's true. Was it like almost nine o'clock now, Mike? That's pretty friggin' early. <laughs> the only thing I do uh, at nine o'clock, like nine a.m. myself, is that's that's the moment before I actually showered. I just make a coffee and I just stare at like windows and my computer and do nothing. It takes it takes a while to get started, you know. Like. <laughs> okay, so we have hearts. That's good. That's really good. Because uh, the reward function uh, pivots uh, part, like in part, it pivots on on you know like the HP of Isaac. So that's good that we have that already. All right. What's up, crucial? Hey, crucial, crucial, crucial. Guess what? <laughs> guess guess what's coming back? <laughs> guess what's coming back? Oh man. That's right. That's right. We're bringing a Isaac back. That's right, new version, and we're gonna use a different different algorithm altogether, and we're gonna friggin' beat Monstro, okay? We're gonna, free, we're gonna beat Monstro this time around. For reals. For reals is. Uh, all right. Yeah, now the reason I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on the Isaac again is just because like the, the current experiment that we have, because I have a, I don't know if you saw it, I have another channel now. That's right, two channels, two channels. Oops. Oh, I hope so. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it can keep it up. That's my big problem. So see, two channels. And I, I have this experiment set up uh, on, on Serpent AI Labs. But this game this game actually hangs, right? So it's, a, it's really disappointing. Uh, I tried everything. Uh, but eventually the game like kind of like hangs if you play it for an extended period. I don't know what causes it to hang. Uh, but it kind of makes it impossible to run a long term. Um, it's lab, yeah, it's lab. Uh, it makes it impossible to run a, a long term experiment if it hangs. So I was like, you know what? Like we need a new game, and I, I've been having a lot of like like meme questions about when we're gonna beat Monstro. So why not just you know, why not just bring it back? <laughs> why not just bring it back? So that's what we're doing slowly but surely because it's pretty early in the morning. I, my, my brain is still waking up. Uh, okay, so maybe we want to go through the code here and see what we did. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be DQN specific in the old Isaac uh, that we can get rid of. Because PPO, uh, I mean, at the highest level, uh, the way the way I've done it with the, the wrapper class that I built yesterday uh, around TensorForce is, is way, way, way simpler to work with in, in, in terms of the, uh, the flow in your game uh, agent. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that we can get rid of, but maybe like just like start getting some frame of reference as to what we were doing. So see, you can see I was I was trying to use my DDQN, uh, and I think we were doing complicated stuff like using two networks. Um, totally gonna scrap that. Uh, however, like there's there's already stuff that's pretty legit here. Uh, we're we're probably gonna be able to rescue a bit of this. This is probably. Not necessary anymore. 
That's a bunch of setup stuff, right? <laughs> hey, Isaac runs in the lab. Yeah, I think it was a pretty cool experiment, right? So, so one thing I noticed also is that like using a game, of course, that people know and, and is more popular uh, probably tends to attract a little more attention than... Uh, than just like random games because I, I like I like Superflight because it was a great I, in my opinion it was a great sandbox for that sort of stuff, right? It just it's a score based game. It has like a diff, like a, some somewhat like a like boundaries in a three D level, uh, simple controls and stuff like that. So I thought it was a great candidate, but it just hangs uh, sadly. It's it's disappointing. It's it's really disappointing. So I had like this boss code thing, nice uh so let's see what we can keep around here let's see what we can keep around and we're probably going to make a random agent again eventually just because we need that baseline uh then again the baseline uh, that being said like is is it really important because we already have a pretty def like easily defined goal um beating monstro right so in other games that are score based the, the, the random agent is probably more interesting to have because it gives us the baseline of the score so in superfly for example i had I, I ran it for 2,700 runs and, and we got a, an average score, you know, like a 67.5 or something like that. Uh, and then it's really, really relevant there because then you compare the performance of your agent against the random baseline. It's it's kind of like your first milestone. But in a game like in, in this sort of challenge, like beating a boss, I don't think like outperforming randomness is necessarily like what we're looking for. I think it's reaching our objective. <laughs> Uh, it is gonna is gonna be what we're looking for. So be beating monstro is gonna be what we're looking for. So I don't know if we're necessarily gonna do a random agent. So it's not always necessary to have one. It, it's a good practice to just establish like the lowest of the milestones, but I don't think it's necessary in this case. Okay, so this whole game state stuff. Wow. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna destroy a lot of stuff in there. I'm gonna copy it all, but we're we're definitely gonna get rid of like seventy percent of that. Uh, replace most of it, not get rid of it entirely, but but replace it. Handle play, set up play. Okay, cool. So let's go to this here instead of printing our hearts to frames or whatever. We're gonna do this. Oh shit, no. It's actually the entire class. Whoop. All right, so we'll start following the flow here. I'm going to set it up a little bit like Super Flight. So that's that Super Flight is going to be relevant uh, in, in some sense. Uh, okay, so we have bosses. I forget what the hard counter logic was. Uh, well, there, it's part of the reward function, right? It's part of the hard, like the function itself. See, I'm using. Well, I would know my health from the hard stuff. I think every time I was done, uh, I was yeah, I was getting a frame. Uh, I was probably like like getting uh, like the HP somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> hearts, hearts, frame to hearts. There you go. Let's well, see. I would get an array of frames. To, uh, I would do the frame to hearts thing, and uh, then I would I would use this count i would count the nuns i would i would okay so this is this is the logic count red pixels in in the region for the what the reward but it's not just red pixels no i'm okay with that that's fine man whatever we're doing here is, is perfectly fine there, there's probably other ways to do it but i'm not going to focus on stuff that's just like a either or All right, so the first thing that's going to be really, really different is we're not going to use two networks. That's that's the first thing, right? That's the first thing. We're not going to use two networks. No. <laughs> Good timing there, Vilsal. No, we're not going to use two separate nets. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, the input mapping, I'm going to change it to something else. Uh, I'm going to call it self.gameInput, I think. Uh, I want to make it match what I did in Superfly because I thought it was a decent pattern. It, it 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 sort of looks like this, except that the label is is already uh, set up. So I think by with the was, do you actually walk around? So that was kind of that would that would kind of be like move up. And we removed. I remember that we sort of thought about removing diagonals because it was creating a lot of um, like a uh, variance. 
in the end. But I don't know, maybe maybe PPO can make sense of that. Anyways, let's 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 start replacing the labels. That the actual uh, array, however, or list of commands is is fine. I don't know why we're missing. No, we're not missing anything. That's good. All right, so move left. So that's that's the new way I'm doing things, and I recommend people do it like that too. Uh, def actually, define your uh, define your uh, your list of game inputs, and regardless of the algorithm you use, there's a good chance you'll you'll be able to use some that something like that. So one thing I made with the PPO class that that makes it like super easy to work with is that you just pass that game inputs dictionary uh, and and the frame shape, and that's it, right? So if you have something that looks like this, you're you're good to go. You're good to go. All right, so move down. So hopeful. Well, you have to start. Oh, apparently I did a music note there. I don't know how I did that, but that's kind of neat. And move right. Uh, we're definitely going to need the keyboard key stuff. So let's do from, let's do it above. Uh, we get that from the input controller. Keyboard key enumeration. There you go makes this valid oh that's gonna suck move what is that wa that's top left top right now nah, let's keep it all around all right let's uh, un until we decide that it doesn't work like let's keep all the possibilities around now why is this complicated you ask well the thing is we're going to be combining two axes right together we're going to be combining two dimensions like this we're going to do the combinations of all these so it's not just this that's the uh, possible number of actions it's actually going to be the combination of like the shooting and the walking uh, so you're going to be left with with kind of a lot of uh, of these actions all right and there's down left uh down right move down left move down right and then shoot up and the shooting itself is is not like that. You can't really shoot the way you shoot diagonally in Isaac is unless you have some sp specific items. Uh, it's it's while you're moving and shooting, uh, it, it will it will kind of like go in a different direction. Right. Thirty more days till your name change. Hey, what's up, V Fusion? Hey, hang in there, Puka. You'll get there. <laughs> hang in there. All right, down right. And then it's a uh, shoot up. I was just having the labels to the keys, but I think it's better to have like the actual action that's happening. All right. Shoot left, shoot down, shoot right. And then that's going to be our game inputs. So that's, that's a good uh, start already. Uh, especially like since the key mapping seems to be, they seem to be right. Well, who says he was taking it off? Maybe it's just going to do like 40, 420, Puka 420 or something. He's, he just said name change. Like you can't read too much into it. Okay, I don't know why I had a key mapping. That's meh. not a fan of that. And then I'm gonna do my direction. Okay, that's the thing. That's the crazy thing. Oh shit! <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that, Mike. Say. Who wants to donate a billion bits to my channel? You get a nice badge now if you do that. <laughs> However, the top clipping thing, I think, is cool. I, I think it's live now. Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll find out how it works eventually. Like I said earlier, but I think that's a nice one. Giving a badge to people that make like relevant clips. That's cool. All right, so I need to combine this. So this is not necessarily right. I need to originally like take this shit and make the combination. So my game inputs need to be the combinations of the two axes. So that's the one thing I'm going to pass after. Uh, so I need to build it up. Hmm. All right. So we're going to be splitting the move from the shoot, essentially the move from the shoot. <laughs> All right. So move inputs and shoot inputs and maybe they don't need to be, uh, they probably don't need to be like uh, instance variables in this case. So let's say move inputs, copy this thing. The yeah clip had potential. 
Yeah, I don't think it, it's it's yeah. <laughs> like, like, fuck, <laughs> I don't think it's uh it's ret retroactive. However, sadly for some people, it's not a bit feature. Well, there's uh there's gonna be a leaderboard on, on like natively. I think that's one thing. Uh, it's not a new feature. It's just that they added new tiers for for bit donations, which which are really kind of hard to get. <laughs> yeah, like Mike said, uh, like Mike said, like if you have like 10k or something to give on to give a channel, then you'll get a new badge. Um, but they also announced another thing, which is the 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 clip, the top clippers or something like that. Yeah, I saw the same email, Mike. Yeah, yeah, we saw an email. We got an email that said essentially like the top. Top clippers now, like they get a, they, they potentially will get a badge uh, next to their name. It's, it's like a, it's like a new thing you can unlock if you're a good, relevant clipper <laughs> with popular clips. Uh, okay, so move inputs, shoot inputs, shooty, the move, the move thingy, the shooty thingy. Uh, let's remove the shoot, the shoot <laughs> from here. Uh, and moving, there's a there's a special one too, right? There's one that's like nothing, uh, and we need to consider in that. Like if I go back to my uh, Super Flight game agent plugin, I'm pretty sure I had like a no op in there, and the no op is kind of important because it it is a valid thing to not shoot. Like Isaac might choose to not move around sorry shooting i think we decided we always want to shoot but then again some people were against that too because they're like if you shoot there's a cooldown uh so some people thought it was kind of neat to to not be always shoot because cooldown stuff right yeah it is very sparkly i know i know it's just like i don't think we'll see that in our in our lifetimes and they actually like made them pretty attractive Where where is it at? Where's my game? Ah, oh, there it is. See, I have a no op, right? So I'll do the same thing on that axis. Uh, yeah or nay? Like, I don't know if we have like experts on on Isaac here. Do you think it makes a big difference if we can afford it to potentially not shoot, right? Potentially not shoot. I think it does because of the cooldown thing. I think we 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 ended up like taking it out uh, at some point. Uh, when we were combining at least because we wanted to reduce the the amount of like like possibilities that's probably one thing that that, that passed through our mind when we were doing this uh, but it, it seems to be pretty legit that you would <laughs> I, I'm literally calling this shit and don't move <laughs> We're gonna have some human readable labels in this one. All right, perfect. So this is, don't move. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same thing with shooting. Now you'll see what I do with, I'll do with this. And then I'll make the combinations of these two axes uh, using, uh, pretty sure it's the like the uh, collections module. And then I'll make a proper game inputs. That's the combination of all these things, right? Like, Not shooting is only really useful when you have a weird. Okay, well, I, I thought I, I thought like with the base tier speed, that's that's my my line of thought. I thought with the base tier speed, that's pretty slow. Uh, technically, if you, it, it would it would kind of like prevent you from doing some specific types of shots if you're always on the cooldown or something. Uh, but maybe maybe it's something we can get rid uh, rid of. I don't know if it's that important. <laughs> I will need the support. So I was reading your thing. I was like, oh god, like where are we going with this? But you you nailed it with the end. More fucking time zones. <laughs> as as if time was not already annoying enough to work with when you're programming. God. Don't shoot. There you go. Don't shoot! <laughs> Alright, so we have our move inputs, our shoot inputs. And what we're gonna do is combine the keys. Okay, so we need some logic here to create the game inputs from that. Uh, and I, I did have this keyboard mouse action space, but uh, eh, I'd rather use my new game inputs way of doing it. And it's a, it's going to make us like visit the... Uh, it's not going to be that bad, man. It's going to cause us to, to look at the collections module in Python 3 collections. Is it collections or is it combinations? No, it's not collections. What was it again? Where was that? 
Python three combinations. Iter tools. How did I get that wrong? All right. So in iter tools, uh, you have combinations here, and uh, we can give it some some you know like iterables, uh, and it's going to combine like like along all the axes together, right? So let's uh, first of all validate. Did I close the notebook? We could have used it to, to validate this. Oh, it's down. I stopped it. I can do it in like IPython or something. I don't need to go in a notebook here. All right, so what's what's this, all right? What's this? If you've never, oh shit, that's my taskbar. But if you've never seen it, oh God, I wish I could resize things easier in Windows. All right. I want to see Monster Man. Hey, you're gonna have like a whole week. Like, like once it's running, like people are gonna be complaining that it's that that it's you know like taking forever. So, can't win. Iter tools, uh, and iter tools. Let's let's say we make a. That's gonna be like just just to drive a point. You know, like one, two, three, and oops. Well, maybe we can make them strings because we're gonna combine them with something else. Wow, that, that speed though. <laughs> All right, so motherfucker. All right, B, it's gonna be the same thing, but with A, B, C. We could have done ranges, but no, I like I like the slow way. Why not? What about command? Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, I've, get, I've been getting, uh, I'm always like, the reason I'm, I don't do anything about it is just because I'm always like, hey, working in Windows is just like temporary, right? So I don't I don't really like like try to improve my dev environment in Windows because it, for me it's just temporary stuff. But but then again I end up working more and more in it, so maybe I should do something about it at some point. Uh, combinations of A and B, right? Uh, lists cannot enter what? Did I did I mess something up? I thought it was a a bunch of. Uh, Oh, no, it's not combination. It's probably permutations then. No. How do I do this? Like, there was a way to combine them. I just don't, I, I just don't remember. Shitty in a different way. <laughs> hey, that sounds like Windows. It's not permutations. It seems like it only takes one iterable. There was one to do like like all of them. Product! You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Hey, I'm waking up, I'm waking up. You're right, it is product. It is the product. Uh, not product. All right, and if you wanna, it's, so I guess it's a generator and if you wanna literally like see it, you have to kind of consume it. There you go. There, it, that's what I'm looking for. There you go. Thank you, Pengu. <laughs> We're not like this because I've been literally exhausting every option before getting there. Yes, uh, but that's what I'm looking for, right? So I'm going to combine the two with with product. So I'm going to get a bunch of tuples that have uh, both, uh, you know, like both a shoot action and a uh, and a move action. Now I could probably get this in somewhere I, I guess the notebook i'm gonna bring back the notebook it's useful it is useful and i don't think i'll be changing the framework much so let's try to use that window instead all right cd sub and projects and in here we're gonna do jupyter notebook it's just easier because i can drop the entire structure instead of typing it out it's more visual so let's just use that uh i could make a clean one too because these end up containing a lot of random shit by the, by the, the end uh, at the end of like the week or something we have a bunch of stuff little experiments in there uh but that's import iter tools if you want to visualize it if you're the visual you know like type of person uh iter tools i'm gonna bring in the the two collections that we're trying to combine the shoot inputs the move inputs uh it's going to complain about not finding the keyboard keys but we can fix it uh, not in the same cell. Let's do this. 
and also from serpent uh, input controller bring the import our keyboard key so it doesn't complain about the contents of these All right, then we have this, and then what I'm looking to do is use inner tools. I, I, I guess it's gonna use the keys by default to merge. I don't know if I need to do anything about that or if it's gonna automatically like just like extract the keys out of them. So if I do products, product of the move inputs and the shoot inputs, so why not like type them all up manually but because we can avoid it essentially that's the answer keyboard key is not defined did i not run this hey cool so if i do list of this then it get ready for something pretty big there you go all right so that's that's all my options right there and i'm just going to make a a little piece of code that's going to turn that into something like this with all the possible options from these two uh, sets right uh, so I'm gonna combine I'm gonna combine these together uh, and and then go and consume like whatever keys they had in there and then we're just gonna merge the keys and and make one game input so that's that's kind of like the task we could develop the little piece of code in in the notebook might as well uh, so I get a, a list of tuples that have two keys right all the way through uh, now if you're curious about the length of this so how many actions do we have that are coming out of our neural network 45 right so that's it's it's a decent amount of possibilities wow serpent AI what's going on Ugh. morning 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 Whew. I'm I'm a night worker how many how many night workers in chat I'm, I'm definitely the type of person that gets it like like a peak of energy at like 9 p.m. and then I can just write it out until I'm tired. But mornings, dear God, not not my favorite, uh, not my favorite <laughs> time to work. My brain is is not uh, necessarily like fully ready. I just want to get the Isaac stuff out of the way, all right? So how do we go from this to having a, a combined list? All right, so let's let's imagine the logic there. So we could do for. We know it's a tuple. And we can extract the list. So we could say move label shoot label night working. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Shoot label move label shoot label in list like whatever. Oh, no, we don't need that. Like the second we iterate over it, it's gonna it's gonna consume it. So we can use our iter tools again product on uh, these two so move actions shoot actions or inputs shoot inputs nice All right so now we have two of these uh we can make uh, a compound label or just a final label of this thing uh, we'll prepare a game inputs dictionary yeah yeah a lot of night workers here good 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 very nice uh, game inputs, empty dictionary, label is going to be a combination of, oh, we could just like, I don't know, I don't need the F string necessarily here, but whatever. Let's start with the move label and then the shoot label. All right, like this. And then we're going to make an entry in game inputs. And what's the entry going to be? Well, we're going to use that label that we just created. And we're gonna set that to the sum of the two arrays in the positions uh, of these guys, right? Of the move label and the shoot label. So we're gonna say move inputs, where move label plus, which actually concatenates arrays, right? Yeah. Makes me you feel bad after. Well, it's good. To, it's good to kind of sync up with the days. Just really hard. Like I'm not saying about. I'm not talking about necessarily like like being awake uh, early in the day. I'm talking about working early in the day, right? So I, I still get up like relatively early, uh, but uh, it takes me a while to get started on you know and, and working and working. See three hours a day. That's probably not helping you feel good. So what do I know? 
shoot inputs and shoot label. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you look at our game inputs, we should have the combination of, well, the compound label with the compound actions. Oops. Apparently it's hard to type. Yeah. There you go. Don't move, don't shoot, nothing, right? So I think we're on the right track. Don't move, shoot down, key down. Yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. There we go. Hey, you know you, man. Like, that's the thing. Like, work with what you got. Listen to your body. <laughs> I'm sure you heard that before. There we go. That's pretty good. So that's our actual game input. So let's keep this thing around. Because we're going to bring that in our code for the agent. So we have move inputs, shoot inputs. Let's define self.game inputs, which is what I'm going to pass to my PPO uh, agent, or wrapper in this case. Uh, let's make it an empty dictionary and then run exactly this. All right, no error tools. We can fix that. What's up, Skylord? Error tools. All right, so that gives us game inputs. And then we can get rid of, you know, like this shit, this shit, this shit, this shit, this shit. I don't think we need the Piper clip anymore. We we used to have that. But our our actual native Win32 controller for the inputs is actually fast now to, to type strings. The problem was with PyAuto GUI, it used to be pretty slow, right? It would write like like this. So it was it was getting like really, really old to watch this thing for an extended period of time to, to watch it. So that's why someone said like hey, can't you just like like copy it before you start and then paste it over and over again? So that was a good idea then, but I think with our Windows controller, we're gonna do pretty good at typing pretty fast. Uh, so once we have the game inputs, we can get rid of this. Uh we're we're kind of ready to initialize like uh perhaps like our stats, right? Our stats. Um self here. There we go. And then it's just gonna complain that this is not it's not defined like inside of this, but whatever, we're good, we're good. All right, so this is nice. Uh now what, what did we do in our superfly game agent? Once we had like well, for example, the, the inputs. Uh relaunch. Hopefully we won't need that with Isaac. Yeah, it's mostly a bunch of stats, right? Mostly a bunch of stats. And uh Huh. Well, the PPO part is is relevant for sure. Let's try to bring that in. The frame buffer also. The debt check, maybe not. Maybe it will be. We'll see. Uh, we don't have random performance. Okay, let's bring everything and just decide which stats we want to keep. Uh, I kind of like made them up myself yesterday uh, before launching the, the, the super flight agent. So maybe you guys are going to have ideas for better stats. Uh, for the agent when it runs. So keep in mind, like the stats that I'm talking about is what gets displayed in uh, the terminal when we run the experiment, right? So let's steal uh, some of the super flight stuff and go back to a Isaac. That's a big setup block. <laughs> that is a big setup block, all right? It has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, we're definitely gonna need collections for some uh, double-ended queues. So collections. Okay, so run count, run reward. I think run reward is is something that's decent. Observation count, that's good. Delay fuzzing, we don't need. Perform inputs. Do we want to see like a streaming list of? Yeah, probably. That's good. We could keep that. And then I was I was kind of keeping like rewards around for various like windows of time. Uh, and then this is like an episode reward, not not a single reward, right? So after a run, let's say a, a boss attempt, uh, I would add a new observation to all of these, right? So it's meant to be uh, executed over a very long period of time. Uh, and I was thinking like 10, you know, like like just like, like these little orders of magnitude here uh, to pr provide some averages. Which Isaac is this? Uh, it's going to be the Afterbirth Plus, the, the full full decked out DLC game, uh, the, Bi the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, uh, because I need the mod console that's in there to just like go directly to the boss room. All right. So one thing one thing I need right to 
that, that makes it hard otherwise to run an experiment in Isaac is if you don't have that because I need to get to the boss room. Uh, but the latest DLC, uh, the Afterbirth Plus DLC, they added a console like this, right? Where you can actually go to a boss room, s.boss, and then I can give it, you know, like dot ten ten, which is Monstro. If I do that, boop, right? Pretty cool for uh, automating experiments. <laughs> and I'm getting a double Monstro, nice. Uh, maybe we'll leave the double Monstros in this time. Why not? Should be fun. Should be a good test. But uh, that's that's in, in essence, yeah. You need Afterbirth Plus if you want to reproduce that sort of stuff because of the console. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time, uh, you know, like running this thing in the loop uh, consistently, like fast. Because you, you would have to always get to the boss room manually. Uh, that's not good. All right, so I don't know what you think about these, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of like intending to keep them around. The score, however, this time around... Is there any score? Not really. Like, we're not looking at a specific, you know, score. Uh, so I guess the sum of rewards might just be enough. And then we can evaluate if we, if we did beat Monstro. Top score, no score, no score. That simplifies things quite a bit. What else were we outputting when we were running uh, A. Isaac last time? And we also don't have random stuff. Debt check might still be there, so... We do a, a double check on, on two consecutive frames to make sure that we're really dead and it's not just like a false positive. However, in this case, it's, it's very unlikely to be a false positive. I'm just saying uh, with the current method uh, in, in this HUD, well, we'll see. And then the frame buffer, the PPO, uh, we can keep the same size. The game inputs, this is where they come in, right? Whatever we just established here gets fed in there. And they're going to get mapped to uh, to to a bunch of integers, like literally. And then the PPO, uh, the, the policy based method, is going to start dictating some inputs to perform on policy. And then we're going to provide observation in in uh, in return, right? Did you solve the menu bugs? I'm working with a different game now because because it's 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 too the other one's too problematic. Yeah, guys, it's, it's just too problematic. So I, I, I'm moving on to some other game, and I'm bringing back some experiment, and a previous experiment that was kind of fun, that we liked in the past. That was pretty, uh, pretty hype in the past. People liked it. All right, so I'm going to bring in my PPO. Uh, I, I have not formalized it in the framework just yet, so I guess I'll put it in my helpers. But if this works well, uh, I, I may very well consider actually like integrating this in the framework uh, per se. So let's drop it in here for now. No, oh, I just copied the text. Never mind. And that is not the right one. It's Isaac. Right here. PPO. Uh, well, if you don't know what PPO is, it's, it's an algorithm that OpenAI proposed in 2017 called uh, Proximal policy optimization. It's a it's a policy method, and it, you're going to see some differences. Now, you don't need to understand the whole like like value based versus policy based, but one thing I can tell you right away, if you uh, you you've seen the AI Isaac stuff like back in June, uh, you are used to the concept of like an AI run. Who remembers AI runs? Right, an AI run versus just the other the other stuff that was running. All right. So if you remember when an AI run was, it was a time where we dropped all sorts of randomness for the purpose of exploration of the environment to try to just let our model play the game, right? And that's what we did. Uh, but on policy methods are different. You're all, it's, it's always an AI run, right? Essentially, there's no concept of AI runs anymore. It's always an AI run. It's always the current policy that's dictating the actions. Uh, and with the observation, it's going to tweak the policies that generate the actions. So, no AI runs this time around, but it's it's essentially one big AI run. So it's gonna, it's always the AI that's playing. Right. Not bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm seeing uh, no clip there. Okay, so PPO in there, nice. Let's bring that in our uh, AI Isaac game agent. So let's do certain not PPO. No, 
Whoa, 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 one thing at a time. Which one was that? Oh, I was thinking PPO, I guess, was... Maybe I forgot, like, some import. We'll, we'll figure it out. But uh, essentially, I need PPO. Yeah, stuff like that, right? Stuff like that, exactly. That used to be, like, a, an AI run, right? So an AI run was just, like, let's drop all the randomness because... Uh, VQN relies on uh, on exploration policies that include like randomness to to kind of just say like, hey, we're gonna make you do random things and and to ob to observe data, right? And so it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. It's like randomness gives you gives you a, a visual context to, that has a reward attached to it, and, and then you collect observations like that. Now the other one is 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 totally called like, it's it's what's called like a non policy type of algorithm where it's always the policy, the live policy, the AI that dictates the next action, right? You can't just say I'm going to do whatever and tell you that I did that and it's this. It's always the policy that gives you the next action, right? I can't I can't decide for it like hey I'm going to provide you a sample when I press up. That's not how it works, right? It has to be coming from the policy and then the policy tweaks itself. Uh, so it's it's a different approach altogether, right? It's more fun to wait for the AI run to happen and see people getting triggered because they missed it. Remember the gong? <laughs> oh man, we had sounds in there because people would would just tab, tab out and then they would tab in, they would tab back in and they would have missed the AI run and they would be pissed. So we added a gong sound <laughs> when, when it was about to be an AI run. It was fun. It was fun times. I I remember that fondly. It was good times. Yeah. All right. Okay, so PPO, a uh, little wrapper I wrapped, uh, <laughs> I wrapped up. A little wrapper I came up with yesterday for, for uh, Superflight. However, it has nothing to do, it, it has nothing specific to Superflight. Uh, so we can just drop it in right here uh, and it's gonna work perfectly. Uh, we just have to ensure that we're providing the same sort of input. <coughs> that is grayscale, uh, 100 by 100 and a sequence of four frames, right? So that's that's the sort of data I'm trying to work with here. Uh, and I'm also gonna provide some some game inputs and that's it. Now I can, uh, okay, let's, we need a frame grabber to grab some, uh, to pull some frames from the buffer. The reason I'm doing this is just to, to warm up the agent because I think some stuff in the agent, I'm not sure 100%, but some stuff is probably like just lazily uh, evaluated it. Uh, so if I don't run any command and CUDA doesn't initialize and then when I first try to do it in game, then it's going to slow down. So I, I just try to warm it in the setup by just trying to perform an action. Uh, just a little tip like that. It's, it's going to warm up. It's going to actually set up uh, CUDA. It's going to bootstrap CUDA. So you're good to go. So CUDA has a big, you know, like startup time. But once you're once you're running, you're good to go. It's actually quick. What up, Slim? Okay, so PPO, what else? So I'm missing the frame grabber, definitely. So let's get that in here. Wow, keyboard. Oops. All right, not input controller, frame grabber. Frame grabber has a class method on it uh, that allows me to fetch a sequence of frames from, from the active buffer, right? Uh, I would call it the back buffer, but it, it would be confusing to people that work with graphics. Because they would think I'm talking about the back buffer, you know, like in DirectX or something. Uh, it's not exactly a back buffer, but it's almost like it. It's it's a, it's a buffer. It's a it's it's a short replay memory of captured frames, uh, and I'm able to tap into that uh, with this method here, the frame grabber get frames. Right. Hi, Pula. <laughs> Yay, hey, Python, yes. All right, how we're doing, how are we doing? And once we have a PPO agent that's been warmed up and then we'll decide, that's that's one of the hyper parameters, I guess, in our experiment is what's the spacing of the frames in our, in our experiment, right? What sort of spacing do we want in the sequence? And it's kind of a big deal, right? It's kind of a big deal because uh, I'm thinking it's better like initially, I'm thinking it's better to get tightly packed frames as input, but we might we might want to tweak that eventually to something else. Right? We might want to tweak it to something else. I don't know if you guys understand that, but I'm I'm asking from the the buffer that I'm capturing in a separate process as fast as I can. I'm asking to fetch me the latest frames offset by by this amount of frames each, 
right? So I'm saying zero is the latest, the top frame, the latest frame you have in the stack. And then it's like the, the one, two before that and two before that and two before that. Uh, so that, that gives me a sequence that has like, like pretty much like consistent spacing. And that's my input for the neural net, right? Okay. And I'm missing date time, uh, kind of small deal, well, not a big deal. So let's import date time here. Oops. We're gonna get there. We're gonna try it out real soon. One thing we'll be able to do right away without actual like AI or anything is just ask the, the ask our agent to give us uh, some on policy uh, actions. Right? Is Isaac ready for lab? That's that's what we're working on. That's exactly what we're working on. Like once I have this running, now this is this is uh, I guess a, a testament to how like nice the framework can be uh now keep in mind i'm streaming i'm talking but if you know what you're doing and you're just focusing on this like once you have a good experience with this thing you you can get up experiments up and running in other games like pretty quickly right you can kind of transition really really quickly uh that's probably this monster dead yeah yeah we had a lot of that <laughs> we had a imagine the day we can say yes you know like, it's gonna change everything it's <laughs> it's gonna change everything the day we can say yes it is yes we killed it and everyone's just going to be like, no, shut up. Like, yeah, 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 clip. <laughs> uh huh. Right, so now we have a started at. Okay, so I am going to comment out everything in here. I know, lol. Everything in our, at least in our handle play. Let's try to see where that ends and just grab everything right here. And then guys are. You know, they can be pretty nice. Now our logic here is, is is good, right? I don't necessarily want to get rid of it, but I want to test something out first. So let's comment out everything. And what we're gonna do is just ask our PPO agent for every frame to provide us with a uh, an action, right? So there's generate action that takes a game frame buffer uh, that is once again my own wrapper against that. <laughs> that that turns everything uh, pretty like into something pretty simple. Uh, the game frame buffer is going to be exactly what I did here, and this this essentially the same thing. So I'm going to grab one from the frame grabber, and then I'm going to pass it to PPO generate action like this. Can't wait. Okay, okay. All right, Mr. 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 Smarty Pants for today. I've had enough of your shit, okay? Enough enough of the smart ass. Enough of the smart ass bullshit. Okay. Always, always trying to be a smart ass. Streamlabs. All right, and that that should be it. Now that's gonna give me uh, a, a tuple, I guess. Uh, that's gonna give me a tuple uh, that has the integer that's coming back from the neural network mapped to the label and also having the the action. So if we print this here, <clears throat> if we actually print this here, we're, we'll get some some actual information. Uh, coming from the policy, right? So I'm going to pass uh, this here to my my network, uh, and it's going to give me a set of actions in the, in return, right? So let's do. Uh, I I am missing something. I need the pipeline. Uh, so let's define the pipeline string first. Where do we want to put this? Right here. All right, so let's do self 
If you don't know this, you're about to learn something that's actually pretty simple and very, very powerful for if you're doing neural network stuff. Uh, you can define this little string here that allows you to kind of control uh, an extra set of images that you get when, when you're in the frame loop. All right, so you can do something like this. You can do resize 100 by 100, pipe it to grayscale. I know, it's pretty amazing. And then uh, make sure that we use like float, you know, like float types inside of that array. And then just with that string, it's going to provide a, a, another frame type called pipeline that's going to respect like this, this, little, this little syntax here. Uh, so just that, just a string. And then all of a sudden we got our images resized for us outside of the loop, right? So it's pretty fast, it's pretty cool. Uh, now, if I have uh, the pipeline string in place with whatever we just did, uh, and I try to run the agent in Isaac, we should start getting some, some actions that, that are gonna seem pretty random, but that's fine. So let's go back to, you know, like maybe, oh, curse of darkness. Okay, right here. And it's probably not going to work first, right? Who am I kidding? But if I say Serpent Blade, a, a Isaac, Serpent Isaac game agent, and I start just like, you know, like fucking around, we should start. Uh, well, it's going to take a while because TensorFlow, uh, and if there's an indentation error, that's, that's also going to take a long time. Uh, but TensorFlow has to initialize, so that's going to take a while, right? Uh, if, we, if we launch that. But okay, so what's this? Where, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? <laughs> Unexpected in there. Okay, yeah, no, I have a ton of shit here. It's coming from another plugin. I thought that was fixed. I thought in my version of Serpent, I had that fixed. I guess not. What's up, Knorr? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't think you've been... You, you, I, I assume everyone was around when we did AI Isaac. I talk about it like it's some familiar thing, but a lot of people came in later. AI hey, Isaac was in June. I need to remember that. It's been, it's been a while. It's been a long time. All right, so I just need to... This is going to take a long time to initialize because I need to warm uh, CUDA up. And if I'm missing, like I said, once again, if I'm missing some imports, well, that's going to fuck it up. Uh, NP is not defined. Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, I need to get rid of my errors in the other spots. Ah, it's 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 because it's trying to it's trying to like like confirm that everything's kind of good to go. in. God damn it! Why is it trying to run the other stuff? Okay, so it's missing time. It's missing SK image filters. God damn it, dude! Well, that's going to be a pain in the ass to uh, get everything in there. Maybe I could steal it from here. I don't know which one we'd need, but we can go greedy and then time, potentially, right? Just so it runs. <laughs> Just so it runs. What happened to the Twitch extension? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I did, I did uh, decide not to go ahead with that. I'm sorry if you were enjoying that sort of content. And, I, and it's, it's really sad. I have to be, like, super honest with myself. Like, you know, like, if you're just looking at the Twitch thing, like, like it was doing really, really good. Like, like the viewers, like, were higher with the web stuff. Uh, but it's not just, it's just not what I'm, I'm about. I'd rather have, like, less people and do the AI stuff. Because, uh, yes, web was more popular. Like, there's no, like, I have the numbers. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I could show you guys. Like, like when I was doing the game stuff, it was, it was doing really, really good. I just... I, this is what I built, man. Like, like with my Twitch, my time on Twitch, and I'd rather focus on that and just, you know, like, like try to make it as good as we can. Uh, so I'm sorry if you were enjoying the game dev stuff, but yeah. Hmm. We love web dev. Good luck with this. Thank you. All right. AI PUBG. <laughs> I think PUBG has enough, uh, enough. Uh, AI is as it is in the game already. <laughs> there are no times. No, it's not because... Yeah, no, I don't commit to times anymore. <laughs> hey, someone said it well in the Discord. Someone said, can't be late if you don't have times, right? So that's that's what I did. I was like, I'm smart. 
right? People said, Serpent, you're always late. It's like, well, if there's no times, then I can't be late, right? Tuned out for the gaming stuff. Yeah, that's it. I, I figure like it's gonna be like some people that don't like like either. Uh, if I were only pushing for like you know like numbers, I would I would keep doing the web stuff. But I I enjoy this way more. I think it, there's there's more to learn here. There's more like like if I wanted to do web stuff, I'd just be working still. You know, like this is this is new. This is kind of like interesting. Kind of gives us the the little rush. You know, like is it gonna work? Is it gonna fail like horribly? That sort of rush, right? The web stuff is kind of solved and it's not as interesting. To me, to me. That's not generalized, but to me, it's not as interesting. All right, let's try that again. One day we'll get it. One day we'll get it. I'm going to pour some water in the meantime. All right, is this going to be the one? Third person that's <laughs> right, the reason I'm not showing is because it's a ghetto ass setup that I got. I put I, I actually keep a, a a two liter bottle of, of Coca-Cola that's been empty forever. I clean it out once in a while and I just like get two liters of water in there so I can just like pour it in my glass. Maybe I should stop being ashamed of that and just do it like this, but that's what I do. Because uh, if because if I have to get up to get water, I, I will take breaks. But but I'm not going to drink enough water if I if I don't have some on hand here. So that's why I do it like that. Oh, it looks like it's actually going to launch this time. That's good, All right? Because then it's going to get to yeah. There we go. We're going to get to TensorFlow. I'm probably going to freeze for for while CUDA's initializing, right? For a while. Uh, but when it's ready to go, it's going to start shooting some random. Uh, Fuck. Well, that's a new one. Hey, what's up with this? Reported, kernel reported driver version not implemented on Windows. But that's a lie. <laughs> But that's a lie, unless, unless, hey, CHB shoot with the prime. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sub for fuck. <laughs> uh, well, yes, I do appreciate the support, but sometimes I, I'm trying to keep it clean. But at the same time, sometimes it's just like, you know, it's actually like a heartfelt fuck. In this case, it is a heartfelt fuck. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the support. But fuck. Because <laughs> fuck, because I, I, I don't know. Is it my version of TensorFlow that's too old? Maybe? What's what, what's our version of TensorFlow here? Pip freeze. Oh! Well, okay, that's a little older. I don't know, maybe... Maybe TensorForce. First of all, is TensorForce even here? It is, and it is the latest. That's good. But this is old. And I probably have CUDA. Uh, what happened with Superfly? Game, game is game. Game essentially is just like you can look on the labs. You'll see what's going on. I didn't fix it, so everyone could see. If you go check the lab channel for a second, you'll see what's up. It freezes, and that doesn't really work with long-term experiments, though, does it? Uh, NVCC. I don't. I just want to know. Okay, that's CUDA eight. So I can't go higher than TensorFlow. 1.4 now i should be able to just pip install and this is a big if but if install upgrade in before we're just gonna get a stream where i try to fix my stupid tensorflow bullshit <laughs> i i can kind of feel it. it's always it's always a little monk s when we work with this because you never know what's gonna happen uh i don't know if i can say upgrade to a, a specific version i've never really done that I've done upgrade before, but not locked to a version. Can I do this? It looks like we can. Yeah, it's mastered the art of uh, tech support stream. 
I don't know if it's just because it's an old version of TensorFlow that that doesn't have some stuff implemented that it was complaining. Because I'm running the same stuff on the Windows box for uh, the lab, and everything's fine. So I don't know, man. Maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just an old like TensorFlow that was causing this. By the way, the person that made this red. I'm not going to say what I want. Uh, uh, no. But a warning, a deprecation warning should not like throw like this, right? That's scary. Can't find setup tools. What are you guys on about? Uninstalling NumPy. Well, did it manage to install it or no? Oh, God. Because TensorFlow GPU is installed in, uh, oh, shit. It's going to try to update, like, a bunch of libraries in there, like NumPy, for example. There, There's a lot I need to do if I want to fix this. Welcome to my world. Yeah, no. Uh, do we want to get into this? I mean, we could. I, I I mean, I need to. There's there's no question. I don't want to, but I need to. Uh, what's wrong with updated stuff? Well, on Windows, like all of the tools, like NumPy and everything, they're actually like coming in from Anaconda. Uh, and the Anaconda distribution... I mean, I don't know if I could update from Con Conda, like the NumPy version. Hmm. Because it probably doesn't like... I could try it again. I want to know what's going on here. I think it's Conda that has the... What? Was it running something? Okay. So Conda... How do you update a Conda package? Is it Conda update TensorFlow GPU? Nah. Make a new box? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, I'm just running like an old ass anaconda here. That's that's kind of the problem. I don't know if I could just like reinstall it in place of, of the current one. Right? If I were to download, for example, uh, the newest anaconda that has like later like numpies and stuff like that. Because we could we could try to pip uninstall. That's that's what that's gonna cause. We're we're in the danger zone here. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess something up real bad. All right. So if I want to get rid of TensorFlow, and it's gone, <laughs> and it's gone. Conda update all. Yeah, but I don't want to update too far for some packages. All right. Now, if I try to install without the previous version being there, how would that work? Where is pip install without? Yeah, no, I do need a, sorry, I do need the 1.4.0, but I don't need the upgrade. Now, if the wheel for this doesn't work, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll just consider updating Anaconda altogether. But I think it might work. I think it was just like like using the upgrade. Like upgrade for all it is, like it, it seems really good, like but it, it, it causes more harm than, than whatever benefits you get out of it. I've had more success, like just See now everything worked. The only thing I did is is actually pip uninstall. And pip install, the, the correct version, instead of pip upgrade. Pip install upgrade. And now it works instead of crashing. So what do you know? What do you know? Uh, TensorFlow GPU. Okay, so the one thing I want to do now, which is also very scary, is try to load it in and then make sure that that compiled uh, wheel that we got for TensorFlow actually works. 
So I'm going to do TensorFlow. Oops. OK, we're good. We're good. It would have crashed horribly otherwise, so we're good. Now, if it still gives me an error, I would have to update the CUDA 9 and TensorFlow. Why did I do that? That, that was not smart. That was not smart. Shit. Exit. I know. I know. Why? Why did I not? I don't know. Like, sometimes you just do. Why? No. Why did I? No. All right. I guess we have to fix it. Oh, Windows. Yeah. Let's not play. I don't want to play games right now. All right. Fix your act. Right, let's go there. CD Serpent Projects. Uh, I'm going to use the prompt thing because it's useful. Thank you, Slim, for that. And I guess we'll try it again. So Serpent play oh we don't have anything anymore so i have to type it out nice serpent play a isaac with the serpent a isaac game agent ah! <laughs> thank you for that thank you miss Gigi. i acknowledge your presence thank you for this what's going on again <laughs> we're we're uh, preparing an experiment with the binding of isaac all right it better be it better be the version of tensorflow because the alternative uh is is not very cool can't spam enters that's my thing that's my thing to spam enters all right now we wait now we wait now we wait for tensorflow to crash get ready Oh, I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, I know it's gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna find some way to fuck this up. Come on! And I'm probably freezing when, when like I said, when CUDA initialize, initializes. Ah, again! <laughs> yes, I found the stream because of Isaac. God damn! All right. Well, we're we're going back to that. That was in June, believe it or not. That that was that long ago. Is it frozen? Is it slow? Is it what's what's up? Is it just slow? Keep trying to scroll your window. Oh damn. Come on, don't be slow like that. Aha! Uh -huh. See? You didn't know that. You didn't know Miss GG followed for seven months, huh? Well, that can't be good. Why is it taking all this time? Nice typing, Puka. <laughs> uh, uh huh. Okay. Uh, I don't have an answer right now. I don't know why it it probably failed trying to create the device. I mean, I'm streaming from uh, with NVENC. I'm encoding with NVENC. I don't know if it has like any sort of impact on that. Uh, but it looks like it was trying to create a device, a GPU device for TensorFlow, and then it doesn't really output anything. It was still trying to allocate stuff. Mm. Well, that's slow. <laughs> Lurking to pay respects to Superfly. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Super Flight has had. Uh, I gave it a chance. Okay, I gave it. A, I gave it a solid chance. I I was positive uh, with the game, uh, in my in my review and everything. But uh, I I think it's proven that it can't really do do the job. Sadly, 
So we're bringing back, like, what do we do when we have, we, when we first adversity, we, we bring back an old favorite. That's, that's the strategy right there. That's my strategy today. We're going to bring back a Isaac, right? So we're just going to be like, ooh, distraction, cool stuff. Remember this? <laughs> and uh, let's never talk about super flight again. It keeps saying keep, fail to create a uh, Kublas handle. Whoa, 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 whoa. It crashes. <laughs> I didn't even see. Let's try to get some. Okay, CUDA. Allocation failed. And then it keeps saying kernel reported driver version not implemented on Windows with CUDA DNN. Hey, you guys don't, don't see the, the relevant part necessarily, but... Oh, God. I mean, they're talking about my... my... What is this one? With C uh, with, with CUDNN, it's talking about the driver version, unimplemented kernel. I guess I'm gonna try to Google that, but that's gonna that's really really scary. Because I'm kind of I'm not expecting to get an answer on that, to be honest. Yay TensorFlow, yay CUDA. Much fun. All right, let's see what's up. Could not create CU DNN handle when content nets are used. That kind of looks like my problem. Kind of. The only thing I can think of is that there would be some uh, other process that would be kind of like, like orphan there. That's the Jupyter Notebook. That's not that. Oh, there is an orphan process for Python. I can kill that. That's going to help. Uh, I'm going to go and see the versions for TensorFlow. There was a 141 killing orphans. <laughs> yes. I guess with the new uh, the, the new Twitch guidelines that are going to come into play, I have to specify that they're not literal orphans, but like they're processes inside the computer. And I'm not literally killing them, but more like using computer like terminology that's been around for, for like decades. Yeah. Thank you. That was the that was the disclaimer. Uh, I can try to use one four one. Maybe there was a bug in one four zero, but I'm getting the same error that I was getting. Uh, regardless, so that's a little scary. I can try one four one, but it doesn't look good. I'll tell you that. Unless unless Tensor Force like actually needs to work with TensorFlow one point five. And then, then I would, that would kind of force me to do the, uh, that would kind of force me to, to do the, the upgrade with CUDA. Because it is working on, but no, man, that's fucked up. That is weird. It was working on this box too. The same algorithm was working on this box too yesterday when I was not streaming. So it has to do with the stream, man. I believe it has to do with the stream. We'll de-escalate. Thank you. Thank you. See? See, we did it correctly. We did it correctly. I dodged one right there. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's let's take a look at the, the requirements for this guy. Like, is it is it specified in the setup pie, perhaps? Like, what the, the install requires. They don't really talk about TensorFlow GPU over 140. Or equal to 140. So I should be good. 
How was it running on 130 yesterday? That's a mystery. Hmm. <laughs> the NASA or the NSA? What's going on here? Like, are you gonna say it's the same thing? Like, they're all on on the fighting on the same side. No, so it's using it is using over one four. So I was I was probably like not okay there. But that being said, it was working yesterday. I I am kind of scared that it's because I'm using NVENC to encode the stream that it's it's struggling because I tried all of this of course without streaming on this box yesterday and it was working fine. Like the exact same algorithm was working fine yesterday. I could try restarting the stream and 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 encode with the CPU instead and see if it makes a difference. I don't know uh, if you guys would be up for that because I don't need I don't need to encode with the GPU really, and I think it might it might make a difference. I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of. Like if I'm A/B testing in my head, like it's the only thing that can kind of comes to mind. Uh, That would cause this because it was literally working yesterday and I didn't change anything else. All I have to do is is literally like stop the stream, change the encoding to uh, back to CPU and start the stream again. You might not even notice the difference. And uh, I think it's worth trying for science. Let's take a hit for science, okay? So if it doesn't auto restart, you can just uh, refresh in uh, like two minutes or something. Uh, I'm gonna stop it, and I'm gonna try to get it running without. Well, let me try something. Like, like, give me five minutes. Let's just pretend that it's me taking a break, okay? Let's just like do the usual like, hey, this is full screen doggo. Serpent is gonna make a coffee or something, and uh, instead of making a coffee, I'm gonna stop the stream. I'm gonna try to run the exact same thing without the stream and see if it actually works. Uh, and if it does, then I'm going to try to, you know, like encode with uh, the CPU instead. Uh, how about that? All right. So pretend, pretend I'm taking a break. You can't trick us. Yes, I can. Look at that. It's doggo. It means it's a break. It's how it's always, always worked. It's always worked like that. Okay. And the doggo is a break. No. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. Okay. I'll be back. I'll, I'm ending the stream now. I'm fooled. There you go. See, it works. All right, I'm ending the stream. I'll be back like within like five minutes, I guess. All right, give me give me five minutes to try to get this work.